Hey guys, how's it going? So today I want to talk about uh, relapses, how to avoid them, how to deal with them when they come around. And I want to make a distinction between a lapse and a relapse and how to make sure that a lapse doesn't turn into a relapse. So what do I mean when I say lapse and when I say relapse? Well, a lapse is just when you feel worth, worse one day, you know, uh, just suddenly, I don't know, you start feeling like pains and aches or fatigue or a bit more anxiety or you're just getting bombarded with these uh, anxious type thoughts, anxious sensations in your body. You start becoming concerned about things and you just overall aren't feeling so great, feeling worse. And this can come about either as a consequence of some activity you did, like physical activity, maybe you had an intense workout or at least a more intense workout or a longer walk or whatever, more intense stuff that you have been doing lately, say, or just uh, some situation, some stressful situation at work, at home, with friends, or just some personal perfectionism thing that set you off, like you just got anxious into an anxious loop about something, making some sort of a decision or anything like that. Basically, anything that has uh, triggered anxiety in you that has a physiological component, a, a huge physiological component, and it is emotionally and physically draining, and it can result in an increase in negative sensations, unpleasant sensations like pain and fatigue and more. Uh, so that's a lapse, right? It's just an episode, just that moment that it happens, you know, just one day all of a sudden you start feeling it. A relapse happens when it starts with a lapse, and then you catastrophize that lapse. You know, instead of relaxing into it and saying, okay, I'm feeling a little bit more fatigued, I'm feeling a little bit, um, you know, worse today, a bit more pain, just not feeling as great as I was, say, yesterday. Um, what happens is you just catastrophize that. You said, oh, well, here's more proof that I can't recover. Oh my God, why am I feeling this way? What is going on? I thought I was doing so well. You know, I really should take it easy. That was a really big mistake that I made, you know, working out that day. Or you try to find a reason, you know, and you start associating things. Oh, I shouldn't have eaten that gluten, whatever the fuck. Uh, pardon. Uh, uh, you just find an association. Like, people can find all kinds of, it was like, I shouldn't have used that perfume or whatever, you just associate it to something and it's just very anxious, very catastrophizing type thinking uh, that you start, you're engaging essentially in, in safety behaviors, you're trying to prevent that in the future when in fact you probably did everything right and you just moved on and lived your life and this was just a, a natural reaction. When you're in that anxious state, this is what's going to happen over and over to you. You're going to increase things, you're going to do things that you find stressful that make you anxious. Uh, because you got to work through them and that is going to result in an increase in anxiety and a corresponding increase potentially in physical symptoms and you got to recognize it for what it is but when you catastrophize that you get into a vicious circle and that's how you get a relapse that is the I, and i have had a relapses that lasted weeks i have i've had relapses that lasted months and eventually i had relapses that lasted years maybe one or two I mean it's hard to then uh, so there's not like a hard and fast definition rule but basically a lapse is a short-term thing that if you don't catastrophize it a couple of days later you'll be back to your baseline you know and a relapse is when you take that you know that that episode and you start catastrophizing it you start engaging in behaviors uh, meant to prevent that in the future but are actually backfiring, you know, like you, you say, okay, I'm not going to exercise anymore. I'm not going to exercise as hard. And you just, uh, you think it's because of that. And in a way it is because of that, because that has triggered more anxiety in you. It's not the physical demand of the exercise so much. That could be a component of it if you're deconditioned, but that's not really the main piece of it. Um, the main piece of it is that it made you very anxious. Uh, the slightest increase in fatigue, you've reacted to it. It's a very complex process and it really helps to pay attention, be mindful of exactly what's going on with your head, with your body in terms of thoughts and images that you're getting. And this is where mindfulness is actually very helpful. Mindfulness meditation helps you detect things like this. So you 
can pay attention to what's going on with your thoughts and images like uh, mental talk, mental images, as well as body sensations, anxiety. And you can then notice that, you know, what behaviors are being driven by the desire to avoid this anxiety or these other negative sensations in your body. Uh, so essentially a relapse can be triggered by many different factors. Uh, it starts with a lapse could be physical activity, could be a stressful situation, could be just an episode. You know, there's an ebb and flow to this thing. Some days you feel better, some days you feel worse. Anxiety fluctuates day to day, sometimes for no particular reason, just because, you know, people are not machines and humans are not machines and we just don't have always things go steady. There is, a, it's a system that is constantly rebalancing. So some days are better, some days are worse, just sort of without any external factors coming into play. Um, for instance, somebody left a comment like, what would you do if, if you woke up in the middle of the night, you know, chilled to the bone? I've had nights like that, you know, going from hot to cold, from hot to cold, can't sleep, just what the hell is going on? And what I've, what I've done in the past that, you know, just uh, spiraled me down is I, I, I mean, I was be bewildered. So I reacted in the only way that I could have reacted given what I knew at the time, given my understanding of how this thing works, given, uh, you know, how things made sense to me. And what I understood at the time is that, okay, this is yet, an, yet more proof that something is wrong. I don't know what to do with it. The doctors aren't really helping me with this. That had been my experience. I went for help and nobody really, they just said, you know, there's nothing wrong with you and whatever. So I was bewildered. And I was catastrophizing and it's not my fault. It was the only thing that made sense. And it is a part of sort of my, how my brain works. And um, it was really, really hard, you know, and then that just made me more anxious and it prolonged and I had more episodes like that and many other types of episodes. This is just an example, you know, it could be just you get home and you're just so unbelievably tired that you just collapse and you don't understand why am I experiencing these sensations? Why am I so freaking tired or why do I have this pain in my elbow or in my knee or all over my body or whatever it is. The thing is, you got to recognize it for what it is now that you have a better understanding. And as you go along on your journey, you will see it bit by bit more and more how this thing works. And the irrational part of you, the, the, the anxious part of you, the part of your brain that is looking for threat and danger will try to pull you in, will try to offer you reasons why this is a disaster, why you should try to prevent that in the future. And that's what's going to suck you into the relapse if you follow that. The prerequisite for everything that I say is that you have been examined by a physician and you have been told, you know, there's nothing really uh, that they see is wrong, like on your test or on your examinations. Uh, when that's going on and you notice that you do have these anxious uh, behavioral and thinking patterns, you will this is the thing you got to decide for yourself that indeed this is what's going on with you. I'm just sharing my experience and I can tell you, well, this is what's going on with you. I know for sure because here I am on YouTube and I don't know anything about you, but I know that's what's going on with you. But I know it's going on with a lot of people, with most people who are going through something like this. That's exactly what's going on. But I can't tell you, you have to decide for yourself if that's something, you know, if that's an approach that you want to try on, if given what you've been through, this makes sense to you. If you want to, how you want to interpret what the doctors are telling you, how you want to see your whole situation. Yeah. So when I wake up, let's say as an example, in the middle of the night, chilled to the bone, can't sleep. Uh, first thing to understand is, okay, this is an episode. Uh, my anxiety shut up. The system got out of balance. Uh, you know, right now I'm living through a period of my life where things like this are going to happen because uh, of anxiety, because of just I've been, this has been happening. You know, my brain is looking for threat and there is a physical component to that. And so this is just one of those episodes. It's very unpleasant. I, undeniably, it's very unpleasant. I would prefer to be able to sleep and not to feel like this, but it is not life threatening. It is something that I can deal with bit by bit and chip away at it bit by bit. So the best you can do is dance with it, relax into it and just do your best given the circumstances and don't catastrophize it. And uh, uh, perhaps you had plans for to do, you know, this much. Okay, maybe you'll have to 
you know, lower your expectations for the following day because you didn't get as much sleep. And even perfectly healthy people, when they don't get as much sleep, they can't perform as well the next day. That's just normal. Okay. And for you, it's exaggerated because you're going through this thing. So you have to dance with it. But what you don't want to do is you don't want to just like overreact to it and say, okay, well, now I'm going to be super, super careful. You know, you got to sort of gently start treating yourself that basically you're okay. You're just going through this thing, you know? So, uh, and you should expect to happen, uh, for this to happen periodically. Uh, it'll take different forms and sometimes it'll hit you out of the blue. Like, why is this happening? This hasn't happened lately. Why? Like, what's up with this? Just, just don't worry about it too much. Just accept it. And, uh, from there, the, the idea is you don't let it spiral out of control. Like in the past, I might have, uh, an episode like that might have affected me so much that I would be sort of in that defensive mode, in that braced mode, trying like not to trigger another episode for days and weeks and months. And I would just be stuck in this place, you know, or potentially even get worse. But now that doesn't happen. That's not what happens. I just live, it, you know, live through the day. Sometimes it happens like this, like I just sort of change my perspective a bit, remind myself what's going on, notice any catastrophization that's going on in my mind. And I just, and I just don't let it happen. I just let it go. I can't control it. I can't, it will start. The thoughts will pop up. The anxiety will come up. I can't control that part, but when it comes up, I can notice it and I can just let it go. Meaning I can just let it be there, but not take it as gospel, you know, not take it as something that I should act on or that I should believe or buy into just do my best to live my life with these sensations with these thoughts in the background yeah so and then some so sometimes when i do that when i take that approach the proper approach sometimes i'm surprised how quickly it just all goes away just all of a sudden it's a half hour later and i'm feeling much different much better how did that happen i don't know but it's cool but it doesn't always happen so the very expectation, if you're doing this with the expectation that, well, I'll just do this and that'll solve it. You know, that's still expressing a certain concern like that. Oh, this is like a big problem. Of course, you'd prefer not to have it. But even if it continues, you can live through it. You can deal with it. Uh, with practice, you'll learn to do it better and better. Uh, so then, so sometimes it happens that it just goes away in a half hour. Sometimes I just have a day that's not as great, you know but still much better than I expected actually. So, and sometimes it's actually a couple of days and uh, you know, sometimes the irrational part of you is just stronger that day. And you only in retrospect realize that you let it take over fully or partially. Okay. Don't beat yourself up over it. It happens to everyone. Just at, at, eventually you will recognize that this is what happened to you. And that is progress. The recognition is progress. Because then the next time you're in this kind of situation, you're going to be able to recognize it sooner and let go of things sooner. Now, that's basically how you do it. You don't get sucked into it. You don't catastrophize and you do your best uh, to work with the experience that you're having. And I would not dare say this to you if I myself hadn't done this countless times. So I'm not like someone from, from the outside telling you, yeah, yeah, just, just do this. You know, it's, it's, you know, just don't pay any mind to it, man. It's cool, man. Like I know how hard this is. I know, but that's really the only way that I know to get through this thing. I'm doing so much better. I'm doing so much better. Uh, I'll make maybe another video with an update, but I'm doing better. Things are, things are great. You know, I'm improving. Everything is great. That's the short update. <laughs> uh, but I'm telling you this as someone who's been through this and who still goes through this at another level now, you know, like I might do a super intense workout, say, and then just be like, Hey, it's cool, man. It's cool. Uh, but, uh, still, so yeah, this is it in a nutshell. I really hope this helps. Uh, let me know your experiences and yeah, look, this thing is a beast and I wish there was an easier way. Maybe one day there will be. Today, there isn't, as far as I know. You know, if you got something that just works like this, let me know. I'd love to know. But for now, this is the best we got, I believe. Do this. Just do it, you know. Just do your best to do it. And when you're not so great at doing it, give yourself a break. Try again, you know. And it's effortful. 
So sometimes you, you just can't be bothered. You know, today I'm just going to chill and I'm, I'm going to let the thing take over. I'm going to make minimal effort. So, yeah, that's it, man. Uh, good luck to you guys. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know your experiences. And let me know if you think this is something you can implement uh, with your situation. You know, uh, bye bye. Peace.